Hello. So here I have two functions, the uh, linear function here, y is equal to 10x plus 2, and the function y is equal to x squared. And what we're going to be trying to do is finding the derivative of each of these functions. So what is f prime of x for this first function, and what is f prime of x for the second function. Now to do this we can just call back our formula. What's that? That's a f prime of x equal to the limit as delta x goes to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. All right, so let's just plug those in. What's our function of x plus delta x? Let's, let's plug that in. We have, and I'm going to use this lavender-like or pink, I'm not quite sure, uh, here today. Our function is 10x plus 2. So if we plug in x plus delta x as our x, that's going to be uh, the limit as delta x goes to 0 of 10 times x plus delta x, because that's our x, right? We're just plugging it in for x, plus 2, minus just the function of x, right? Function of x is just 10x plus 2, divided by what is our delta x going to be? We just write delta x. All right. How can we simplify this? Well, we just need to distribute it out. We have the limit as delta x goes to 0 of, well, let's see. How can we distribute this out? We have 10x plus 10 times delta x plus 2 minus, we're going to be canceling out these 2s. These are going to cancel out. This 10x here, and this 10x is going to disappear. So we're just, if we distribute that 10 out, we're going to have 10 delta x here. Uh, that's some really quick uh, simplification. You can do that on your own if it was unclear. So we're going to have of uh, the limit as delta x goes to 0 of 10 times delta x over delta x. We can just cancel these out. So we have the limit of 10 as delta x goes to 0. Delta x is involved in this equation, so this doesn't mean anything. So the derivative, f prime of x, the slope at any given point, x, is going to be equal to 10. So at any point along x, you'll know that the slope is 10. And we already know this, right? y is equal to mx plus b. It's a line. We know the slope is 10. But now we know that our understanding of derivatives works with a linear function. So now what is it going to say for this uh, quadratic function here? y is equal to x squared. Well. I'm going to have to write it a little bit small for this. We have the limit as delta x goes to 0 of, so what's if f, f of x plus delta x? That's going to be x plus delta x squared minus just the function of x, that's x squared, over delta x. All right, that's the same as the limit as delta x goes to 0. I'm going to simplify this out. This is going to be x squared plus 2 delta x plus delta x squared minus x squared over delta x. What is that going to be equal to? That's the limit as delta x goes to 0 of, let's see, what can we cancel out here? x squared cancels out with negative x squared, and that's all. Now how, how can we simplify these? That will cancel out there, and we'll cancel out one of those there. So what we're going to have is, lastly, the limit as delta x goes to 0 of 2 uh, plus, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Uh, this should have been not 2 delta x, that's 2 x times delta x. I just, I did the foiling wrong here. So this would be 
this term here is x squared plus 2 times the little x times delta x plus delta x squared. My bad. Not a terrible mistake, though, I don't think. I don't think I'll lose sleep over that one. Um, so that's going to be the limit as delta x approaches 0. We still cancel these out and one of these out. And these cancel out. We're going to have 2x plus delta x. Now, as delta x goes to 0, right, this gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. smaller. Uh, what is our total value going to get closer and closer to? Well, it's going to get closer and closer to 2x. Just, you know, treat this as 0, right? If delta x is 0, this is, our derivative is just uh, 2x. That's what it's getting closer to. So the derivative of x squared is going to be equal to 2x. And that is the derivative, our first derivative that we found of a curve. This is very special. It happens to be the easiest one, um, aside from linear functions, to, uh, or one of the best examples to do with this formula. As we'll see, there are a lot of other methods of finding derivatives that are just quicker and less complicated. Um, but for now, I hope this is satisfying. And uh, now that you know how to find a derivative of a curve, so this means that at any point along this x, so like at x is equal to 2, the slope there, the instantaneous rate of change, the slope of this tangent line is going to be equal to 4, right? Right, so over 1, we're going to have, you know, I don't know, 4 over 1 or whatever. Um, that's not the best <laughs> representation visually, but our slope is going to be 4 at this point. So uh, f prime of 2 is how you write it. It's going to be equal to 4. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that uh, this was interesting, and uh, goodbye.